Donald Trump was asked by Bill O'Reilly to name a single policy he would implement to reduce crime, and he couldn't answer. How? You have in Chicago a problem. It's, did you know that murders in Chicago are up 50 percent this year from last year? I know it. I know <laughs> it very well. And they, can't, and they can't solve it. They can't solve it. State of Illinois... City of Chicago can't do well, it. Well, you know right? why they can't solve it? Because well, 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 I don't but think no, they I have know. the right people in charge. So, well, all right. So specifically, specifically, think, how do you think, do it? How do I, you do it? I know police in Chicago. If they were given the authority to do it, they would get it how? done. How? You have unbelievable. How? By being very much tougher than they are right now. They're right now not tough. I mean, I could tell you this very long and quite boring story. But when I was in Chicago, I got to meet a couple of very top police. I said, how do you stop this? How do you stop this? If you were put in charge to a specific person, do you think you could stop it? He said, Mr. Trump, I'd be able to stop it in one week. And I believed him 100%. How? Did he tell guy. you how he would be able to stop no, it No, he just, he wants to use tough, he wants to use tough police tactics. Which would you is have warrant to arrest people, being people. Killed. You can't beat them up. You have to have a warrant to arrest them. You have to have... All I know is this. I went to a top police officer in Chicago who is not the police chief, and he I could see by the way he was dealing with his people. He was a rough, tough guy. They respected him greatly. I said, how do you think you do it? He said, Mr. Trump, within one week, we could stop much of this. But he didn't tell you exactly precisely how. Because that's no, what and I didn't ask know. him because I'm not the mayor of Chicago. But I tell you what. I sent his name in and I said, you probably should hire this guy because you have, you know, the expression, you have nothing to lose. Look at what's going on in Chicago. It's horrible. This guy felt totally confident that he could stop it in a very short period of time. So it's nationwide. a little bit like we could win the war a lot quicker if we'd let our generals do the job properly. This was a man. But you, but you have to have a strategy. Though. What I'm trying to get is you have yeah, to have well, a strategy. I'm sure he's got a strategy. OK, but you're, you're going to be just saw, if you're president, you're going to have to have your strategy. Look, Oh, that was so sad. Bill O'Reilly, who's your friend and he's on your side and he's trying to help you and do propaganda for you, as evidenced by every other segment he's done with you. He's throwing a softball down the center of the plate and you can't fucking hit it. You can't do it. You can't do it. He's like, okay, but I'm asking you how. How would you reduce crime in places like Chicago? How? How? Well, you know, I'm the, uh, well, look, you gotta understand, you gotta let the police do what they do. He's like, okay, I get that. How? Give me a specific policy. How does that happen? Well, I mean, Bill, Bill, excuse me, excuse me. They gotta get tough, believe me. They gotta get tough. Okay, Don, what does that mean? That, that You're just saying words. This is word salad. There's no policy embedded in what you're saying. Gotta get tough, gotta get tough. You gotta be tougher. That's what you gotta do. I spoke to a guy who's a police officer at the place with the thing. And the guy said, all right, see, if, I, if you let me do what I do, then I'll reduce it, reduce the crime immediately. Tremendous. It'll be tremendous. We'll be winning with my strategy. Believe me. Believe me. Let me just tell you. Okay, but how? How? What does that mean? So what is that guy gonna do? When you say, okay, so you, you wanna, you know, have the control and then you'll fix it. Now tell me, how will you fix it? We're gonna get tough. We're gonna get tough. We're gonna fix it. How do you fix it? We're gonna get tough. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything! You're not saying anything! You're not fucking saying anything. And then even Bill O'Reilly said there, I don't know if you caught it, in the middle he said, quote, you can't beat them up, you need a warrant. <laughs> when Bill O'Reilly sounds like the civil libertarian in the conversation, good googly moogly we're in trouble. <laughs> He's like, you can't beat them up, you need a warrant, what are you gonna do? Oh. Oh. And by the way, it, like, let's take Donald Trump as literally as possible. So what? Give the give the police carte blanche. You do whatever you want. You could be an occupying force. Let's go deeper into this trap of tribalism and us versus them, and we're going to control them, and that's how we're going to fix this problem. Hey, Don, they've tried your idea. It's failed miserably. Did you read the Baltimore report? <laughs> of course you didn't read the Baltimore report. Who am I kidding? But we covered in detail the Baltimore report. The whole problem in Baltimore is that the officers were like an occupying army. I mean, there was one officer who had like over 125, you know, um, abuse of authority complaints against him, and the, the department did dick. There were countless examples of, you know, citizens saying, these motherfuckers are throwing around the N-word like it's nobody's business. There's one officer who said to a young black kid directly after the verdict in the Zimmerman case, why don't you come walking around my neighborhood wearing a hoodie and we'll see how it ends up for you.
they also had no regard for the Fourth Amendment. They just brazenly violated the Fourth Amendment. I mean, there's probably an argument to be made that they don't even know what the fucking Fourth Amendment is and protection from unreasonable search and seizure. They've tried your- they've been doing nothing but your get tough, we're gonna get tough, get tough mentality. And it's been a miserable failure in every sense. And also, they're talking about Chicago. Wasn't it Chicago that there was the story within this past year that found that they had fucking black sites where they tortured people? What do you- what- so what do you mean get tough? What do you mean get tough? I mean, they're doing everything that you probably want them to do, Don, and they're still soaring crime rates. So how do you actually go about reducing crime? Well, there are some very simple answers to that. So first of all, you do gun reform. Now, usually people say, well, I mean, come on, Chicago already has tough gun laws and they already have incredibly uh, high gun crime. Yeah, that's true, but what's the problem? The problem isn't those gun laws. The problem is that in the fucking neighboring states, they have lax gun laws, so people go right next door, get the guns, and then come back in. <laughs> so they act like, oh, see, it proves gun laws are bad. No, the problem is that in the surrounding areas, gun laws are lax. So if you had uh, gun reform at a federal level, where, for example, you had universal background checks, you limited high-capacity magazines, you know, you do basic reform, obviously that'll help and that'll tick down gun crime specifically. You know, if you do jobs programs, so for example, we have our infrastructure gets a grade of D minus. If you go into these big cities and give people jobs and give them an opportunity to get out of poverty, well then, a lot of them are going to take it. Not all of them, but many of them are going to take it and then you're going to have a reduction in crime. Uh, typically, the better people do economically, the less likely it is they're going to commit crime. Uh, and then also there's drug reform. For example, if you end the drug war, if you at the very least decriminalize drugs, but it'd be better if you legalize tax and regulate drugs, well then what happens? All of the gang violence associated with drug use and drug sales, gone. It goes away. How do I know? Look at what happened with alcohol. When alcohol was illegal, who got really powerful? The mafia. Why did they get really powerful? They sold the alcohol. They had a monopoly on it. So you're giving them more money, more power, more strength, and then more crimes are going to happen because you can't go to court and sue wearing a suit and tie when your business is illegal, so you solve every dispute with guns. Same thing with drugs. So if you legalize tax and regulate drugs, the gun violence and the gang violence drops tremendously. So these are things that you actually do. How many of those things does Donald Trump want to do? None of them. None of them. What does he want to do instead? You get tough. You get tough. Even Bill O'Reilly's like, hey, dipshit, that's not a fucking policy. Give me a single policy. You get tough because I spoke to a guy and the guy said about the thing in the place that we got to get tough and it'll be tremendous. We'll be winning. Believe me. Believe me. Get tough. It'll be great. Believe me. Get tough. America is winning. Um, America, make America great again. We'll be winning. Get tough. Get tough. Believe me, Bill. Get tough.